Hi, my name's Kevin Hicks. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The History Squad. And what we're gonna look at today is what a bowman, what a medieval bowman wore on his head, not only just on a daily basis, but also when he went on campaign, when he was in combat. And we're going through the ages here. So I'm just gonna go straight into this subject, yeah? First of all, you have gotta start with the basic, your head, yeah? But everybody in the medieval times, they covered their hair. This is your medieval coif. I say this is nice to keep your lice nice and warm underneath your head covering. Then you can put other caps on, yeah? But before we go any further, I've just got to show you the lady version. The ladies, medieval times particularly, suffered quite a lot when it comes to the church. And I'm gonna show you this quickly. So they had long hair, but they couldn't show it out in public because they would be regarded as a lady of the night. Or if she's a married woman and she has her hair uncovered, so I understand, it was a sign that she'd been unfaithful to her husband. So this is quite uh, important. So you put the hat on, all of your hair goes into the back, you then bring it round. Now remember, I'm a Kevin, I'm not a Julie, so I don't know if I'm doing this 100%. You then turn it back. How's that? Yeah? Enough of that. So, the coif. Let's put the coif back on and start with a couple of just simple helmets. Bowmen weren't always rich. Bowmen were often regarded as quite low. So you might find him just with a sheepskin cap. Yeah, it might be all he has to wear. But as he makes his money, he might be able to afford a leather cap. Now I've made this boiled leather. And I will tell you, right, it's actually comfortable, right? You can see, you can shoot, you can feel, you can do it up. And I'm gonna just take it off and just bring it a bit closer to you. It's just boiled leather, that's all it is. St. Edmund there, patron saint of Bowman, yeah? So, leather cap, boiled leather cap. You won't see these in the films, will you? Right. My fave, without a doubt, my favorite. An archer's woolen cap. Now these, I think it was a little bit later, were called Monmouth caps. And, and true to form, this was actually made in Monmouth, right? Right on the border, South Wales, England. Sometimes it was in England, sometimes it was in South Wales. Hey, get out of here. So I like this. It's stylish, yeah, and it's warm. And also, if somebody clunks you on the head, it might just cushion the blow. And of course, we have Robin de Bois, Robin Hood, yeah? Robin Hood, stylish. Now, what I used to do at Sherwood, I used to tie me coif up, yeah, so I could hear. And when you look, at some of the drawings, some of the pictures of the medieval times, these coifs there often are tied up. This is good, except you can't shoot very well in it. This gets in the way, so I have to tilt it right back when I'm shooting, yeah? But of course, combat, yeah? I've got a series of helmets here now that I'm gonna show you. And we go basically from 1066 on through, but these are what Bowman would have wore. This isn't particularly what knights or men-at-arms would have worn. So we'll put the coif back on, keep my lice nice and warm, yeah? So what we have here is a very simple conical helm. Uh, <laughs> the Normans had these, right? They had the nasal bar. These went through 1066, the Saxons had them, the Vikings had them, and then they went right the way through the 1100s to the 1200s. It's a very simple helmet. Yeah, it's already lined. I can put that on. It's good to shoot in. Yeah, it's pretty good, uh, except for one problem. I feel like a bullet when I wear it. Yeah, I don't like the look. Yeah, the reason I haven't got the nasal bar is it gets in the way when I'm shooting. Don't forget, this is for the bowman. So, conical helm. Now let's move up, just one tiny little notch. Now I've got to show you this because it's, it's quite, It'll explain what Bowman did on the battlefield.
So we're going to go on to a pig face bassinet now. Now this is what a knight would have worn. So before I put it on, I'm going to put on my trusty sheepskin cap. All right, this is for comfort and protection. You can have an entire arm in cap, but I prefer this. Now the pig face bassinet. You're a bowman on the battlefield. The knight is wearing this. He's coming straight for you. Let's put it on so you can see what the knight looks like. It fits really well. It's very snug. But the front comes off. Now the bowman, when a knight is down on the deck, on the floor, the bowman can pinch his bassinet. He now has an open face. He is on the battlefield. But just have a look at this. This is the knight's view through the visor of one of these. Yeah, because I shot him, right? So, the pig face bassinet. The bowman has himself a helmet. Yeah? Now, let's change it. Let's get on to Agincourt. This is my latest one. This is my Agincourt Salé. These are called. Fit it on me head. Nice and comfortable. Can do it up if I like. Nice shoot, yeah, I can see around, and the salle has this piece coming back to protect your neck. This is nice, I like this helmet. It could quite easily become my favorite, yeah? The only problem with it is it is heavy, so you have got to fasten it, fasten it down tight, yeah? So, the salle, open face. But if we go into the Wars of the Roses, Sorry if my hair's a mess. They change. Yes, they had these for sure. But how about the kettle helm? I wore this so much at Warwick Castle over the years that it fits me perfectly inside. It is so nice. And it's, it's yeah, it's well oiled. There is so much oil in this, you wouldn't believe it. Yeah, but I've got a full cap in there that makes it mine, yeah? So, I think I just put it on backwards, yeah? The kettle helmet, they had these earlier on and they were a little bit broader. Now, the one that people really like, the visored salle. This is very typical of the Wars of the Roses time. So there we go. The open face has now got a visor. You can bring it down. Now, I have shot with it down. I've done demonstrations, but I'll tell you, it's difficult. But you've got to weigh it up, haven't you? If you've got this on and the enemy is shooting down at you, take the Battle of Towton, for instance. If you're a Yorkist at the bottom of the hill and you can see the arrows coming down, you might just lock this down for a little while. Then when it's your turn to shoot, Bang, yeah, so there we have it. A nice selection, medieval uh, headgear for the bowman, and it's all part of my collection. I am gonna add to it, so in the future, stand by, you might meet some new kind of helmets. Well, I hope you enjoyed the film. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, and do me a favor, share these films if you can. Yeah, let's grow this site, and I can make more films, yeah? We have a Patreon account now, so these people are helping me to grow this site as well. So I've got to give you a, a, a thank you for some of the guys. PG Guillaume, yeah? Now, if I didn't pronounce that right, you've got to tell me, yeah? Gregory Clark, thanks mate, and Maxwell Gross, yeah? So thank you very much guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.